Hi, me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, part two. And if you watch part one, I was using for object to path. Then I thought it was taking too long and it did, but it did it like two seconds after I shut the video down and it came out perfect. So I thought I'm gonna actually get rid of that. There's so much there that if you don't have object to path, object to path is a great tool, but if, I don't, I can't remember when it came out, but we're gonna blend this. So if you remember, this was 30 inches. So we're gonna go to object and blend, and we're gonna make, and now we've got two of them, so we're gonna blend them 148 times. If you remember from the first video, we needed 150. Now I'm gonna go up here and, and blend a new path, put it on the path, blend along full path. And I think I'm gonna to have to rotate the objects too. And look at that, that's pretty good. Now they're on the center of that line. Uh, I don't really know, see in the, in the other one, there's actually a, a um, object or origin. So what we could do if we wanted them, I think we wanted them the inside of that line. So what we could do actually is make this thing Let's just figure this out. Let's back up. Let's find out how tall these X's are. These X's are, uh, you know what, for instance, we're gonna make a 0.25 big. And then we're gonna delete that one and make a copy. And we're gonna move that one over. So I feel kind of embarrassed. I think there is actually a way to do this with the blend because it's gonna put it right on the path but we want it below this path. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna reduce this in size by 0.125, which is half that. And I'm gonna go to object and contour to the inside 0.125. And see, now I have a new path. So what we're gonna do now is get, well, we're gonna leave that one alone but we need to break the contour part. Go up to object, break the contour part, and we're gonna set our nudge factor now like on 10. And let's get this out of the way. But this is what we wanna do. So now we're gonna take this and we're gonna, now it's gonna be a little bit closer. Uh, the stitches are gonna be a little bit closer, but I think it's gonna work. So I'm gonna go, apply that same blend, blend the new path, put it on the path, blend along full path and rotate object. We, this might even work out better. See, it looks pretty good. Now what I wanna do is uh, downside it, blend a path, you have to unblend it, break the blend apart. We're gonna grab that item and nudge it down, but it didn't take the original two. But look at that. Now we're on the inside. Now I should have put more and then that way they would be touching with the exception in the original picture. He had this like thicker lines and black. Ah, right click black and see that looks more like maybe it's too thick. And see that way they're they're not quite um, everything's touching, so that looks pretty good. Uh, so the blend or object to path is going to work for that. And if you, you try them both out, and you know one thing nice about this, you can back up and add two more and get them a little closer. But I think the corners came out good. The corners came out real good. And you can go to object and group and ungroup all. And, you know, then you could take that one and actually put it down, rotate it, you know. And, you know, there's a lot you could do with that. Anyway, I hope that helped him a little bit. Thank you for watching.